Hey everybody, it's CBQ here with Greensy, back with another edition of How It Works. Today I want to talk about obstacle avoidance. So we've been busy bees, and what we've done is we've upgraded the camera setup. So you were looking at six cameras now. You've got one, two, three, four, five, and then one in the back. And you'll just come around and look at that one back here. So you may be thinking to yourself, you look at a beautiful field like this on a beautiful day, and there's some trees in the middle. And so for those of you who know how our system works, you mow the boundary. So I would mow however big of a section I would like in this. Uh, and I, now I can leave those trees in. So as you know, our system will stop for any obstacles. But the new feature that we've added is obstacle avoidance. So in this case, this is Peggy. And we just completed this nice map. So I'm showing you what we did. When we got to one of these trees, we just did this section right here. It was that tree right there over there. You see it? Uh, the mower stopped as it normally does. And then what we did was we clicked go around obstacle. And what it does is it draws a nice little circle around that obstacle, and then we'll just go around it. And we'll show some footage of that in a second, but we have the obstacle uh, mower going around it. Now that's just robotics 101, that's path planning. We use uh, some, an algorithm, I think A-star or it might be D-star light that we've moved to. And all it does is map waypoints around it so it will finish those stripes for you on the other side. obstacle avoidance we're making some changes to it to try and do push notifications to you to let you know so that you can visually be aware as well as using some of the lights and that's coming up soon all right this is another edition of how it works let me know if you have any questions in the comments thanks for tuning in and see ya